Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Just as a reminder to those of you that missed the message in the last session, this episode is being recorded more or less back to back with the previous one, simply because I'm currently, as of this release, out in Halifax. So releasing this from out of town, basically. Uh, as a result, if I don't respond to any of your comments from the previous episode, or if I don't you know, react to them in what I do and what decisions I make, I apologize because technically at the time of this recording, those comments don't exist. Uh, with that said, uh, I think this is the only episode I'll be recording outside of uh, outside of the city, so do keep those likes and comments coming. As always, folks, your likes and comments help me make important decisions for the channel, like what kind of videos to keep doing and uh, what I should continue, especially now looking into 2020, what Let's Plays and all I should continue. Uh, and apart from that, I also enjoy reading through all the comments. You've always got some great ideas and feedback and thoughts and jokes. Uh, it's all very welcome. So, with that said, and a short introduction today, let's get right to work because there is a lot to get done. We, uh, previous session, began our uh, investment, I suppose I should say, into the uh, the dock uh, on, on both sides. We have to spend a lot of money to build them. 314k is a lot of money. So, one thing I want to do right off the bat is I think I want to hit play so we can start making some money. It's the 16th of August. Uh, we're just over 3 million rubles. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. But let's go ahead and hit play and try and make sure that we're making money. Because what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to make sure. All right, let's get our construction offices. You're not a construction office. Let's get our construction offices working away. Honestly, I'm tempted to prioritize these buildings. Now, these things are almost done. What is road 365? Over here, I mean, these I can, like, pay for. These are dirt cheap, right? These I can just pay for. Not the end of the world. Hopefully some of these connections will actually end up going pretty far. Yeah, that's pretty good. These guys, are you able to reach the train station now? Yes, you are. Okay, that's good as well. Alright, cool. Are you guys able to reach the train station? No, you, you cannot. You cannot. That's not good. But I, I don't think that's the most important um, concern of ours right now. The most important concern of ours is... Oh, no, hello. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Might actually be able to... Do this. Connect you like so, and then connect you like so. Some other infrastructure's in the way. There we go. A little bit of... Magicking. Go ahead and start the construction, and... Let's go ahead and pay for it. Watch how instantly I get distracted in this game, right? that's all built so now can you reach the uh, train yes you can okay excellent totally worth it 100% worth it all right because uh, I want to make sure that people are actually able to uh, you know go where I need them to go without that this is all a giant waste go ahead and connect you here as well I don't want to hit the auto build button or anything I'm just worried it's gonna sneak up on me Hopefully you can reach the trains as well. Nah, we've reached our limit in terms of getting to the trains. Fair enough, fair enough. We, we've done what we can. Anyway, yeah, I'm really tempted to cancel some of the uh, construction over here or, like, pay for it. It's like... It's a thousand rubles is, is not that much, right? Got a road in progress over here. Which road is this? Oh, that's this is a serious road. This is a for real road. Um, but let's not involve you in the construction of that road. It's weird how quickly I reach the end of the map there. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's not involve you in that. And you know what? Let's get rid of the flats as well. And the hospital. And let's go ahead and add... Building is not finished. Of course it's not finished. I meant to add that. There we go. Really? 99.76% complete? You're kidding me. Go ahead and get the stuff building. Hopefully it'll go smoothly. I like the thing is I don't want to. I cannot afford to buy this and this. It's gonna it's gonna slow us down so much in terms of our economy. I just don't think I can afford to do that, unfortunately. So I want to try and at least build some of the stuff over here, and then um, and then pay for some of the stuff over here because that I should be able to do. That I should be able to do. So that's one construction site done or a construction office done. We get you. I can get rid of... Okay, you're the one that I've already set. Sorry. You. 
working on some stuff. Let's go ahead and add these guys. Let's go ahead and get rid of the road. And again, honestly, I feel like I could just build these. I can just pay for these constructions, you know? Like, I'll let them progress what they're doing right now. But in uh, in a moment's time, I think I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll pay for all these. Because it can't be all that expensive, right? 6,000. 7,000. Well, closer to 8. 4,000 over here. Like, these are almost done. Still need a little bit of steel is the only problem. It's, it's very close to the import area as well, which is why it's probably a fair bit cheaper. And I'm not going to finish these tracks until right... Until we're done over here. Okay, cool. So up over here, I have to make sure that exports and everything are happening as smoothly as possible. Now, why are we stuck here? What is going on with this? When did this become a thing? What did I what did I do? I feel like the new update has done something here. Like I could add let's see. So right now you are checking to see if this is free. You're not checking to see if that is free for some reason. If I add a two-way semaphore over nope, can't place one there. If I add a two-way semaphore over here. Will that do the trick? Because then you should be able to come out and go down this way. Or will you get stuck over there? No, you should be able to see that you're able to go that way. Yeah. And then you get stuck over here. Why would you get stuck over there? Why would you get stuck over here? This is green. You're comparing it to this? Maybe? If it had, didn't have this problem before. Would this not be a change? Should this be a regular Son of Four? No, it'll still get stuck. Yeah, this, this urgently needs to be fixed. Because honestly, we are otherwise going to see a lot of trouble. In terms of our entire economy just kind of collapsing in, in, in on itself. Now you're coming through to pick up steel. I, should, I wish you could customize the number. I don't want 10%. I don't want 0% either. But let's see. That's a lot of mechanical components. Let's see how this works out, actually. Because all those mechanical components will get loaded up over here. Right? That's a, that's a pretty penny that we're making over here. Those components go for a lot. At the same time, steel is getting picked up just 10%. Now, there's no workers here right now. Oh, no. We have another huge backup. We do. Oh, my God. I feel like there was a massive, like, update or something to how the trains are, um... Working or something. And that's kind of locked everything up over here. And over here. I, there's got to be something. I mean, again, it could just be me. 100%. It could just be me. But it just feels like there's something bigger at work here. Now, do we really need to load up bricks onto this train? I don't think so. Because it's very slow. And if we don't load up the bricks, we could probably make a lot more money a lot faster. Oh, you know, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't too bad. All things considered. Fair enough. And down over here is construction nearing completion across the board. Feels like it. Feels like it. Go ahead and add. Again, yeah, I want to get as much work done at the same time as possible, right? These things are so close to done. So close to done. And you, let's go ahead and add. Oh, hello. Go and do that. This one's barely working on anything. Unload the vehicles from the flatbed. Oh, I guess that's a problem. We're fine for now. One sec. So asphalt can't produce asphalt. Why not? No workers over here. And concrete plant, I'm guessing it's the same thing. No workers over here either. Okay, fair enough. But that's because we had the trouble over here with the trains. Okay, thankfully, you weren't empty. You're not going to be empty either. 161 workers coming through. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. Now, hopefully, people from here are going there. People from here need to be going here as well. I need more workers, not fewer. We got 83 people there. Okay, good stuff. This is empty. Fine. It's fine. This is almost done. We've got our kindergarten. We've got our school. I don't know if I... I can't remember now if I paid for them or not. If I paid for them or if... Uh, 
if they if they were built uh, naturally, so to speak. Like if we managed to build them ourselves. I just can't remember now. It is tempting to upgrade this to proper roads. So that that slowdown doesn't happen. You can see just how quickly they slow down over there. See that? And that's going to slow us down a bit over here. It's not the end of the world. I usually leave road upgrades to the end as the last thing to do. So I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, and we are still making money at a decent rate because, again, over here we got to pay for everything, right? And it's going to be gonna be expensive. How much did I say this was again? 320k. And then a ship itself is... Uh, I assume we don't need power supply over here. A ship is... Like, a passenger ship? Fine. Not expensive. But a cargo ship? We haven't broken... 4 million in ever except for like at the beginning of the game when we were when we started above it we don't need the bigger ships i'm fine with getting this one but even that is nearly a million rubles 971k wow that's no joke oh look at that it's always so nice to see i don't think this will ever get old for me at least let me know if it's getting old for you because then i can stop taking a moment every so often it's just so cool. It's just so cool. Especially, I don't know, something about the way these roads are laid out as well just makes it look extra nice when they kind of split apart over there. Our resources are coming through. That's good. Down over here. Resources are coming through. Good stuff. Take a couple of round trips. Take a couple of round trips. But it's getting done. It's getting done. Building projects over here are completing. Over here, we'll be supplying workers to all this stuff. And the hospital as well. Which also just completed, if I'm not mistaken. This is all good. That's all good. Go ahead and make sure that you guys are... Let's get some educated people over here. Uh, relocate. Yep, to five with university education, so... Uh, more, please. There we go. And get you to work at the hospital and at the school. They should be able to supply all the workers we need here. I believe we just need staff workers with basic education for the kindergarten, so that's fine. Alright, okay. Should be good over here. These people will hopefully have a good time as well once the store is up and running. Shopping center. Now I need to check really quickly uh, a couple of things. This for one. Keeps on happening. don't get it I, I i genuinely i just don't i don't understand the issue like why are they getting why are they meeting each other face to face is what i don't understand is this crossing not done yeah it is why is there no power there oh right, right because that's wood like this train can only go on one side maybe this should have just been electrical so that train could cross over as well. Go ahead and see if that helps solve our solve helps solve our problem. Words. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. We'll just pay for these, obviously. Not that expensive. Oh, there we go. Done. I really hope that does help save some of the pain here. I, I, I don't want to be babysitting trains, and I'm sure nobody wants to watch that either. I hope that solves that problem. Down over here, how's the bridge coming along? Uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. Alright, and this stuff is making progress as well. Sorry, just keep double checking. Alright, uh, so with that done, back over here, what are we up to? Where... Where did you go? With the workers. Oh, the school. Okay, okay, okay. That's the kindergarten. That's the school. Workers should be able to just get there. Now, asphalt is missing. That's probably because there are no workers working here right now. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We've got all those micro buses and stuff moving around. Bringing people around quickly enough, I think. I could start to upgrade some of these roads. So that people are moving faster, especially along this path. Literally, like, double their speed. Let's go to an asphalt road. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll pay for this, right? Do that. Make sure I upgrade you right away. Just to zip by the uh, the bridge area a little bit faster. 
God, it takes a long time to build. I don't need street lights across the mountain range over here. Uh, so yeah, build you as well. Kind of want like things to go by before I before I build, and and force them to go around this long way because that would just be horrible for me. Okay, let's get you going. You're gonna come up to the bus stop. All right. So once these two cars leave this area, once these two buses rather leave this area, put the road down over here, and we'll put the road down over here. Problem is we're spending money while uh, not making it as quickly. Hopefully that'll change soon. Anyway, sorry. Got distracted right when I shouldn't have. So we are good over here. Yep. Let's do that. And we're about to be good over there. Button on you. And let's go ahead and... Fund you. Not that expensive and it'll probably save us a lot of time and money. In the long run. Because everything here is not going to be able to move a lot faster. Get over to this area, and things slow down over here, but we'll we'll upgrade that eventually as well. Maybe at least to gravel. Okay, we're at 3.06 right now. That's about to change. Feels like. Nothing's down over here. Are we all stuck up here again? No train up there. Yeah, we're stuck over here. Why, dude? Why? Why is this not green? You need to be going up that way. Like, I... Very frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Because it was, it was working smoothly right up until before this update. Well, right up until before this update went into beta and I eagerly downloaded it. I can't imagine this is a new bug or anything, but... Certainly starting to feel like it. Did my train here just disappear? Thought I had a train there. Alright, so you've managed to come up over here. There's my steel train, so you shouldn't have a problem getting in over here, right? Yeah, there we go. And where is my... there it is. I need these things moving smoothly. Got a bunch of steel to give. You're topped up on mechanical components. I need this train here faster. <laughs> Since that's topped up on mechanical components, why don't we increase your load a little bit this time around? Just until that train arrives. Might as well. It's got so much steel waiting as well. I wouldn't mind getting to a point where we have decent exports of both of these. We're loading up pretty quickly. I'm gonna keep using the steel as well to build more. Mechanical components, good stuff. Oh, this should be a good uh, good delivery for us. 22k here, 20k here already. Good 40k, waiting to get sold. That's what I need, I need more of this. I need more of this, more often. Far more often. What's the deal over here? Are we stuck again? Yeah. We're stuck again. And this time, I think it's because of a different reason. I think this time it's because... You're looking. You're seeing everything is blocked. Why are you seeing everything is blocked? These guys are over here. Okay, so if I get that, like we used to have, I believe, that should free up the problem. See, I just don't get why this train can't keep going up on this right side. I guess because it can't cross over further down. I guess that's why. So it's got to wait for this to free up so it can cross over here. Okay, fair enough. I can always add a crossing at, at a later point. Wow, everything here is done. All right, wild, okay. Okay, good stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna upgrade the roads just yet. I wanna save that money. A, I wanna save the construction offices for all this. B and C, most of the people here are walking around anyway. So that's fine. This is not yet done. And once this gets done, there'll be a bit of an investment as well to get food and meat and stuff down there. Oh wow, that's actually looking like a good shipment. This is at 40K. The steel train is on its way. I believe so. Yep, steel train's on its way. This one's on its way back. Good stuff. And how much have you got? 26k. Alright, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, okay, I want to check. Still missing meat, eh? What's the deal here? We've got workers, we've got livestock coming out. and being loaded up right now. Over here. That's the clothing factory. There we go. 
missing livestock currently. Props, not a problem. Livestock is a problem. But that must mean it's getting shipped out to somewhere. Getting shipped out to somewhere. It's just being eaten faster than we're producing it. I think it's because we had a couple of cycles where workers weren't getting through. And every once in a while it still happens because of the kerfuffle over here. I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem. Alright, 3.1. I might just need to accept the fact that we're going to be below uh, 3 million during this expansion. We can afford this harbor. The, the, see, the reason why I don't mind the investment is because this is like... It feels like it's worth it, you know? I'd have to build the track over here as well. To make sure that the trains are able to go from here down to here. I need to actually get a train uh, depot as well. Yikes. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. To get this up and running. A train depot is not a problem. We could probably drop it down over here. Pay for it. How much does it cost? Uh, let's see. Where's the train depot? Would be in the railway. Train depot. We'd probably put it down, yeah, like over here or something. Feels like a good place for a depot, right? Could do a more centralized location as well. Could, like, do it over here. That way, if trains need to go this way, they can as well. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea, actually. So, sure. If we go ahead and drop you down... Say, over here. I don't know, having trains... Coming out where it's so crowded, just... <laughs> makes me a little nervous. It's better to have it out of the way, I feel. And they can come out with a T-junction over here. Trains will go down this way and up that way if they need to. And then other trains can come out the other end... To be a part of, like, the passenger network down over here. Yeah, I feel like... All the way out here might make more sense. Trains over here. Goes up there. We could add another junction as well. Maybe that goes up this way and out. Like if this ends up being a T. Alright, let's, let's, let's plan for this to be... Not a T, but a four-way crossing, I guess. So you'd be... Like down over... Well, let's go ahead and put the tracks down first, right? Could have you... Let's do the straight tracks first. So, we've got you. This wonderful mess of a crossing. Kind of like go out like this. And we'd have you following. I'm going to go like so. That's not right. Like so. There we go. Perfect. Well, I say perfect. That's a strong use of the word perfect. And then over here... Let's see, right to right, right? So, from this side over to this side. If the game doesn't automatically just build nicer uh, T-junctions. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's hideous. There we go, there we go. More like there. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. Fit a train in there, fit a train in there, right? You can fit a train in there. Okay, cool. And the depot. Go ahead and commission that. And then the depot would go over here. Like this sort of a thing. Flatten the train a little bit. Good thing that the depot doesn't actually need uh, workers or anything. That's a lot of flattening. It's a lot more than I was hoping for, at least. Right, we get you down like so like so and then we can drop too steep of it god damn it game <laughs> and raise this instead I guess all right this tool is faster I think there we go at least we're not spending any money on terraforming right we're not spending any money on terraforming. I just really want to get my harbors working. I'm so blinded by the harbors that nothing else seems to matter to me right now. Come on. Can I... Will you raise or will you lower? You will raise. Okay, good. 
Well, you'll do a bit of both. Let's keep the descent. Okay, how about now? Uh, there we go. Oh, come off it. Come off it, game. You know you want to work. There we go. Down over here. Okay, good. So, Grand Depot. Down over here-ish. A lot of flattening to do, it seems. Raise this a little bit, I think. That should do the trick. Uh, or I'm just very wrong. Wild. Wild how much flattening it still needs. That's one thing that I hope eventually gets a little bit smoother. Pun entirely intended, of course. Is, uh... Oh, really? And now you're still... There we go. Doesn't like this, um... Corner over here. This corner over here seems to be a problem. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just hope this becomes a bit of a smoother process in the future. Like, I would rather not have to click and hold. It's, like, there should be an option to be like, no, just instantly flatten it to, this, to the height I need. Why is it not... Yeah, okay, there we go. I was like, I wasn't doing the, the southern parts, which was bothering me a little bit. That's where it needs the most work. I'll watch now, it's too high. Let's try it. <laughs> I'll be damned. There we go. Just gotta make two separate. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Again, strong use of the word, but once in a while. Alright, so you can probably do something. I almost wonder if it should have been the other way around. Nah. I'd rather have the connection come down from up there. It's the infrastructure over here. It's just the curve of the road, I guess. Always do something like that. I can always do. I can go across here as well. I would like to minimize the crossings. We're already crossing it once up there. Wouldn't mind minimizing the crossings. And then again, this is only for uh, for emergency vehicles. So it, it would rarely be crossed, and only if it has to be crossed. Only if it has to be crossed. So I guess that's fine. Oh come. On. Wasn't too steep moments ago. Come on, there we go. Gotta flatten it just a little. Okay, I guess we gotta do some parts. Take it. Done. <laughs> Done. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. What's the deal over here? These things are getting worked on. Yeah, no problem there. One construction office is obviously only able to do so much. And our trains, are they stuck again? Yes, they are. Like clockwork. I just don't understand why we're not getting the crossing happening. It's like you can see that this is locked here. So why did you not cross over to the other side? Why did you not cross over to the other side? And then down over here, I assume this isn't fixed either. Oh, this seems to have been fixed. More so than it was before. Still a lot of workers waiting here very often. Where is that train of ours? Are you stuck over here? What was stopping that train from moving? I swear to god this gets... <laughs> confusing more than anything else. I mean, this is, we're making some good progress over here. 25% done already. Decent progress over here. Not so good progress over there. Fair enough. What's the deal down over here? The thing is, like, I'm so... The reason why I'm so distracted is because I feel like bringing the material in will start saving us a fair bit of money. And bitumen will still be paying for. Um, gravel. We're paying for gravel. We are paying for gravel. We'd still be paying for gravel until the bridges are done. Uh, mechanical components. The steel is the big one. Steel is so expensive. That really is the big one. I really should take a look at ex exporting some of these boards. Even if it's just with one truck. That goes back and forth over and over again. 
Like, all I'd have to do is... Oh, tell me you have road connections. Yeah, you do. All I'd have to do is get a road connection from here. I'll do it when the sun's up. But yeah, have, have, a, have a couple trucks. Let's take the timber down there. Make a little bit of money. Because, again, every little bit counts. I might actually double up the speed. We make some more progress today. Because I would very much like that. I want to get a boat out today. I want to get a boat out. <laughs> That's my, like, dream. That's my desire. This train is moving down over here. Okay, good stuff. Picking up a lot of passengers. And it does drop people off up there, right? Drops 100% of the people. You know what? Let's go ahead and drop that just ever so slightly. We want to make sure enough workers are coming down here, right? Seems as though they are. Let's see, okay. So 100 get off over here. Oh, no, sorry. 15, my bad. Wow. I completely cacked that up. Let's go ahead and get 79% off there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it back here first. I'm, I'm forcing the return journey here because we just... 242 workers are going to go home and do nothing. And that's just silly. And I'll tell it to go back to uh, Vecherinkograd afterwards. They're going to come through. All these workers are going to get dropped off over here. Or they're just going to disappear. Now you go back. Not the best, but not as bad as it would have been. Not as bad as it would have been. Over here, trains seem to be moving smoothly. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Workers are coming through, workers are coming through. Missing steel, are you? It's because the steel train is still loading up 20%. Oh. We're going to get components happening. Yep, are we able to actually get more workers here? We are. Do it. I got to get these components happening. Gotta get them happening fast. And you're stuck here. Why? Why? How, how are these two even remotely getting in each other's ways? That? Is that what you needed? Is that what you wanted from me? Now you're going to get stuck there, because for some reason, both of you decide to be on the same side. I mean, it's, so, it's not the end of the world. I might as well pull this back. Uh, let's go ahead and flip you around, please. Might as well pull it back and load up some more clothes or something, right? Now, clothes have seemed to have slowed down a fair bit as well, and I wonder why that is. We've got workers coming through. We're making fabric at an okay rate as well. Maybe it's just because we're, we're exporting it better. Okay, meat stocked up over here. Where are our vehicles that are supposed to bring it back? Alright, looks like meat is back on the menu. Good. Thank God. Money's still flowing through nicely. You're stuck here. Oh yeah, because you're in between two worlds, eh? Well, head to the customs house. And hopefully the train down over here has made us a pretty penny. Looks like it. Let me just take a look. So this year. Wow. Somehow we're still in the green. Somehow. Uh, mechanical components have made us, yeah, a, a lot of money. They made us a lot of money. Seals made us a fair bit of money as well. well. They're obviously our prime exports here. Now, I need to get into oil ASAP. Many of you have been saying it for a while that oil is the big money maker. And I need to get into oil. That's why we've started this expansion. I want to get down here. There's a lot of oil over here. We can process it all down there. It'll take us some time to get down there, but... Once all the food and stuff is up and running, we should be able to get down pretty quickly. Because here is all just going to be more like small town kind of stuff. Uh, but here there's going to be a big city. And that's going to be, that'll be an undertaking. I want to make sure that we're able to transport materials over first. I want to jump the gun. I hate jumping the gun. We're making money. 3.2 million. Alright, what else have we got going on? Progress over here. Now you're stuck there. Why are you stuck there? You're stuck there because of what? So this train's going to come through and go by. We're fine. Okay, good. You, what's your problem? I'm trying to get down to here, right? Is it because you're seeing this as one track? Yes, that's exactly why. Okay. 
I wonder if I get a wood connection over here. And just temporary. Did you really just get pulled back to there? How does that work? There. Road 499. I might just pay for this. It's almost done. 8,000 rubles though. Okay. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> almost there. We're almost there. And the bridge is going to take a long time. We're very close though. We've made a lot of progress here. We have made a lot of progress. And it looks like this uh, bridge is getting some work done as well. Some workers are arriving hopefully. Yeah. Good stuff. Lots of resources arriving too. Oh, a lot of the um, work uh, construction offices are sending workers over here. A lot of buses. They don't all have a bunch of people, but more than I would have expected. I mean, hey, this is a big project. This is a big project. Literally and figuratively speaking. Look at that. Got all the gravel we need. Now we just need a bunch of concrete, a bunch of bricks, a bunch of steel, and a bunch of asphalt. I love seeing the bus just kind of like hang over as it turns around. What is this? Is that construction on the... Oh my god. <laughs> but he's drowning down there. Nonetheless, work is being done. Work is being done. Are you working on this road? Are you actually sending things though? Because why aren't you sending things to pick stuff up? Got all these, all these trucks, all these flatbeds and they're not doing anything. Over here, you're working. You're stuck. You're stuck. Why are you stuck? You're stuck because these are not in place. No, that's not why you're stuck. That's wild. Why why does it not keep going here? You're on this side. Is this not considered a two-way as well? I do that. There we go. Okay. Gonna get through there. You're gonna get stuck over here, though, aren't you? Yeah. The track that's completed. I need to keep uh, adding semaphores to as it goes. I guess. Fair enough. Okay. Good. Good to. Good to know. I suppose. What was the deal up over here? We're stuck again. We're stuck again. Just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. At least we're traveling with a decent amount of mechanical components. All these are just kind of sitting there, wasting away. Go ahead and pick up some more steel, since that's the case. Like, I'm, I'm really, I'm genuinely, I'm trying to figure out what the deal is. So it can get on to either side here. They're just choosing not to. Should I have a semaphore on this side instead? Like that kind of a thing? And then they'll pick? Uh, over here they'll pick which way to go? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. And I do apologize that this has remained a constant struggle. Please tell me you're still picking up more components. Yes, you are. Okay, good. Because it was a time where it would just pick up the first load and it wouldn't keep loading. Even if it had room to. Steel train's on its way out. Okay, good stuff. Need more workers in here to keep the production going. And they're just about to arrive. Looks like. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Good stuff. This is good. This is good. It's going over smoothly. The warehouse is still maxed out on mechanical components. You know what? I could do that. Well... Nah, let's, do, let's let's keep it at where we were. Keep it where we were. That was working out fine for us. Why change it? Forty-one k. Okay, good stuff. Another big bump in our in our economy. Every little bit counts. And to be fair, these are pretty big bits. These are pretty big bits. Construction here is going to be a lot cheaper as well. Obviously, as, as things complete, construction becomes cheaper. These things are getting done as well. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're getting our semaphores in place. without splitting it up into too many pieces. So you're still under construction, are you? No, you're done. You're still under construction down there. 
Okay, so. Go ahead and put a semaphore down over here. That should be easy to navigate. And you are carrying 308 workers. Okay, let's see how this works out. I almost feel like... I almost wish we had another... Um... Nobody got off. Why did nobody get out? You know, on the way back, we're going to go ahead and add you. We're going to unload everybody that's left. Just because it's ridiculous. Otherwise, I don't get why no one's getting off... The other option is to make it two separate, make it count as two separate stops. I can experiment with that. For now, though, it's on its way back. We're going to see how the drop-off works. See how many of these workers actually arrive. Because, again, otherwise we're just wasting workers. And I'd be better off sending them to, yeah, here. Honestly, ooh, it's starting to feel like the right thing to do. Keep that loop alive. Farminski, unload everybody. Train Rexki. Oh, god damn it. I drink a god. Train Rexki twice. First one, you unload everybody. Well, you unload 90%, and then you load everybody. Okay, let's see how this works. Go here. Nope, 90% did most certainly not get off. I can't say wait until unloaded or anything. The hell? It's almost like the loop was more effective. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. First of all, this nonsense, giant pain in my butt. Needs to stop happening. We good now? Yeah, we're good. Just the one vehicle. There's just a mess up over there, it seems. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. This train... After Farminski... Honestly, I'm tempted to go up there, and then loop back down. Just add so much more... ...time to the travel. Like, I I'm tempted now to just bring people from, yeah, there up to there. And then... Separately from here down to here. Right now, things are... Right now, it's not my most important priority because things are still, you know, working smoothly enough. Man, but I could have so many more workers here. Why are you not... Unloading? Like, where are you working? Does not everybody can work at Arminsky? Don't just don't have that much room. We just don't have that much room. We don't have that kind of room. I don't know. I don't. We'll 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 have to deal with it later. I think. Because again, I I'll have to invest in a new set of trains. Trains cost how much? I mean, let's see. If we were to purchase a locomotive. This one, so quarter of a million. And then a passenger wagon, even just the one it is a bit much. I mean, I might actually go ahead and do a tram. Considering how many people we need down here. Sure. Let's get you. All right. And you. You're going to go over to here. And you're going to come back over here. It's just, I, I can't keep watching this. It's just silly. It's just silly. Load up 100% of workers and then get everybody out. You begin. Now, where is my train? Where is my train? There you are. No more Farminski. Just train Rexki. Let's see what happens here. So if you unload... No. Unload everybody. How difficult is that? I want to see if this will work, because if we can get everybody out over here, that'll be great. If we can't, then I will add this as another stop. And hopefully it'll go up and then come back down this way. It's starting to become kind of painful. <laughs> I still don't understand why it would, uh, would do what it's doing. Alright, now you come over here, you're going to load up more passengers. 
It's all a bunch of workers waiting, but that's where the buses from here go, right? A bunch of workers disappear, of course. But at least we figured this out, like what was going on over here. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna arrive, and 100% of the people are gonna leave, right? No. No, but a bunch of them did. Okay, so then from there, you will go up to here. And you will unload everyone that's left. I could add a waypoint over here to force it back down this way. Right? Oh, I have to double up waypoints? Well, let's see if it automatically understands what it needs to do. Let's see. One can dream, right? What are you doing? You're going towards train wreck ski. Fair enough. You're going to roll up that way, and let's see how this is going to ruin everything now. Break my entire cargo system. You're going to leave, and you're going to join in. Yeah. Even though you could have crossed over. Yeah, good. See, we can have both trains here. No, keep going, damn it. Why? Why would you do that? It had both trains here at the same time. I don't know the point of this. Yeah, these are both two ways. I don't get it. So now you're here, and you're going to drop off all these workers. Cool. That should help. And now you're going to go this way, unfortunately. Long way around. But hey, those of you that wanted the ring, here's the ring in action, I guess. At least the tram is, I still, I think, still bringing people down here. Hopefully at a decent enough rate. Bit of a slower vehicle, but... I think it should be working at a decent enough rate. Yeah. Seems to be the case. Cool. 32 workers. That's that's about all we need, right? Could use more. There, we could do that. Don't, we don't need that many workers there. One fire truck will do the trick. A couple more workers down here. Get the livestock rolling. Alright, cool. Meat is being produced. No. Low, 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 low on livestock. Fair enough. Being loaded up right now. Okay. Hope, I was. I would hope that each round of livestock delivery would last a little bit longer. But it does seem like meat is available. Okay, that's good. So meat's going over there. Uh, meat is coming over here as well. And meat is coming over here. Great. Fantastic. Amazing. Look at that. Spirituality, sport. Okay, we have to fix that. But it's mainly spirituality and unemployment. A little bit of food and meat here and there maybe. But all right. We've actually managed to... Uh, Solve some of the issues over here. My god. My god. Good stuff. That feels good. That genuinely feels amazing. That feels amazing. Alright, uh, what do we got going on over here? Progress being made. Over here. No workers or mechanisms. Missing steel. I wonder if we have to uh, slow down our steel export a little bit. Missing boards. Hitting me. 3.5 million. At least we're making decent money. Okay, workers got dropped off, but we're missing steel over here. Is anything bringing steel? Nothing is bringing steel. Okay, we should stop our steel exports for a little bit. We gotta stock up on some steel so we can, um... So we can build some of these buildings, otherwise... <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Hopefully, what I'm hoping is we can outpace the mechanical component production. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to reduce this as well. A little bit of a catch-22 situation, isn't it? And again, these guys, they could both be on here, but they don't want to be. Being lazy. You're going to arrive with how many workers? 72 workers this time around? No, you're waiting for a different train. No, no. Okay, you're good. Okay, good. So many moving parts. New vehicle type available. MCAR 25 dumper and MCAR 25 open. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see what these things are. Well, I mean, I, I know what they are, but let's see how they compare. So we've got the dumper, MCAR 25. Two tons. Okay, it's just a lot cheaper, I guess. And I, I can only imagine the open hull is also just a lot cheaper. 
Where are you? M car. Yeah, it's super cheap. Which, I mean, it has its place, right? It has its place. Oh, oh, oh. Are we finally bringing some steel over? We are. Five tons of steel being brought over to the open storage area. Cool. I can start maybe paying for some of these. Start to maybe pay for some of these. A good steel mill is getting a lot of workers. This is this has become a very maintenance episode, I know, folks. But I just got to make sure things are running like clockwork. Gotta, I got to make sure things are running smoothly. Um, otherwise, we're going to suffer. Did you not? Oh, I see. Because we're trying to get to the point where things are a little too far away for it to auto uh, assign. Work is being done though still, so that's good. It's wild to see Ristinski still active. Like, uh, it's just crazy because it was such a huge undertaking. It was such a big project, especially this bridge was such a big project. So it is crazy to see it uh, working smoothly now, barely needing us to get involved. Things down here as well seem to be working pretty well. Definitely have more workers coming over here instead. Or at least more buses coming here faster. Oh, hello. Glad I spotted you. So you're supposed to be going from here. Sorry. Yeah, hold on a second. We're going from here. Over to here, yeah. And then over to... Here. And then back down to here. Why did I do the weird flippy thing? Like that. Yeah, that's weird. I almost feel like I should follow this bus. Yeah, what are you up to here? Whoa. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. No, no, no. Not the FPS camera. Oh, it's cool that that's an option now. Okay, well, now you're going to refuel. Fair enough. Building is without power supply. That's a problem. How do we lose power here? Power is still being... Nope. It must have just happened. It must have just happened. Manual purchase. No, wait, we have coal. Hold on, what's going on here? Coal power plant. No, no, you're missing coal, right? Well, wow. blind. You. Manual purchase. Just a little bit. There we go. That's gotta be it, right? That's gotta be it. That was it. What are the chances that that happened right now? Pretty high, apparently. Things look like they're moving smoothly enough over here for now. Oh, yeah, good. You guys are moving as well. Oh, where are you going? Going up and around. Oh, what? That's silly. That's silly. Why would it... Oh. Okay, well, let's just get rid of this waypoint at that point. That's just dumb. It was going out and around and then looping here and then going up as opposed to going out this way. Okay, one bus going out this way is not the end of the world. Pretty cool though to see the second uh, road here working so efficiently. Pretty efficiently, I'd say. Okay, we've got all that's working fine over here. Anybody moving in? No one lives here yet. I guess no one can walk down there. Yeah, I guess that's a bit of a problem. But people can walk down over here, and they're not moving down there either. Oh, they can't walk down there, actually. Interesting, okay. People can walk down here, though. Looks like it. They're not moving down there either. Okay. Might need to do some forced moving. We're fine for now. I'm uh, gonna wait until this shopping center is done, and then we'll, we'll force move some people. Man, making 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 progress, but it's something to just buy. I just want to buy a boat. I literally, I just want to buy a boat. I'm. Just, I just want to buy a boat. <laughs> I want to see how big it is. I want to see how it looks. I want to see how it works. That that would be premature. That'd be premature. I mean, it, it's good to see the dock work continue, though. It's good to see it continue at, at a good pace. I'm just trying to get a little bit more affordable if I wanted to do that. 
And the bridge continues as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. What? You're not 50% done. You're not over 50% done. No way. No way. That's actually pretty impressive. This bridge might get done before our... Uh, for our boat system. Uh, that'd be really good, because we can start at least using trucks to deliver some of the materials down here. Oh, crap. You know what I forgot? My new trade route. What I was going to do was get this thing out over here. Push it curved a bit more nicely. There we go. We can do that. Put it straight down. Oh, too steep of an incline. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Want that. And then something like that. That's not perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I'm not looking for perfection here, but a little bit of janks like that I don't quite like either. Something like this. There we go. Done. So now if I get a truck, maybe two trucks. Big trucks, obviously. Uh, by... The open hull, we know exactly which one we're going for. 16 tons of boards. For just a thousand more. No. Definitely the way to go. And I think just the one is necessary. So we can begin over there, 16 tons at a time, drive all the way down to there. Let's begin. 100% of board. Wait until loaded. Okay. And actually I should have said, once you arrive, you should wait until you're unloaded as well. Just sell it all. We've been producing so much. It's great that our little village is uh, beginning to get its own exports. Missing concrete and steel. It's okay. We got a little bit of pro progress done there. Missing some steel over here. Missing some boards over here. All right. But at least the steel is coming through. It's cut into our exports, but... God damn. Can you back into Rostinsky? Because there's more mecha mechanical components to pick up. No, no. Back into Rostinsky. Oh, I guess we can't load anymore. Alright, fine. Oh, can't stop our exports like that. How are we doing over here? You're waiting for this to come back because we need to get another semaphore down over here. There we go. This is almost done. Good stuff. This is almost done. Kind of crazy. Needs bricks. Needs a lot of bricks and a lot of steel afterwards. So even though it's like progress has been made, there's still a long way to go as far as um, as far as bringing the resources over. So you know, still, still got time. Still got time. This is cool though. Seeing some good progress here. Concrete and steel. It's just always neat to see. Even as the sun sets. <laughs> I don't know. This is, for me, this is the most charming part of the game almost. is like seeing your city build itself. Taking a moment every once in a while to appreciate the fact that there's a game that literally lets you deliver individual bricks. You know? It's wild. It's absolutely wild. How are our trains doing over here? You are loading up still. Less bricks, more mechanical. Okay, you're topped up on mechanical components. Fair enough. Because, yeah, if each shipment can get 40k. Or, sorry, 40. Yeah, 40k. That'd be big. Deal here is being stored. Why is it being stored here? Why are you not pulling it? You are. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we're okay. This time it managed to use the other path. It's just a matter of timing, I feel like. Like, sometimes it gets here while this train is leaving and then it just doesn't know what to do with that situation. But hey, we're at 3.6 almost. Who knew playing at double speed would be such a good idea? Who knew playing at double speed would be such a good idea? How are the boards looking? <laughs> we have so many. <laughs> we just have, we've got so many. Slowly on your way back from there. Max speed of 35 kilometers an hour. I really should. Oh god. The first person of you throws me off. 
I really should build uh, these roads up, shouldn't I? Like the speed increase is going to be ridiculous. Hopefully it takes the right path over here. I imagine it will. Yeah. See that speed increase? So much faster. So much faster. Anyway. Take a look at the situation over here. Still working away at it. Still chipping away at this. Still getting some good work done. It's it's wild. This update is, is crazy how much new stuff has been added. Maybe I shouldn't have rushed the uh, construction of our uh, little uh, dock. Maybe I should have rushed the construction of, you know, some of the things that actually are required. Like the bridge. That would have been a good idea. That would have been a great idea. But no. For now, the dock work continues. And it continues at a decent pace. I think. I'm trying to figure out if I should pay for all this. I'm trying to figure out if I should just pay for all this. Nonetheless, that's a decision, folks, that I'm going to have to make next time. This is where we're going to call it a session. Hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was a very management-heavy one, but I need to get my uh, imports and exports happening smoothly so that we're able to get the money so we can pay for some of these bigger projects and we can resume our expansion down south over here. As always, if you did enjoy, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on this channel. And of course, a Massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons who have been supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das vidanya.